So you guys are probably wondering, how about if I make millions, hundreds, thousands or whatever of dollars doing my own thing, like being a rapper, being a singer, being a dancer. Listen, if you're Haitian, you're not allowed to do anything in the creative field as a professional profession, okay? There is no singer, dancer, rapper, none of that shit. More important than their China, more important than their Toyota is their reputation. They care about their reputation more than anything. They can be dead. If you send your parents a million dollars a month and you are like an international rapper, they will brag about you, but they will still, okay? They will still be like, oh, but are you gonna go back to school? When are you gonna go back to school? I see you making all this money, but when are you gonna go back to school? Haitians pride education so much, it's insane. It's a good thing, but it's like, God damn, like I'm making millions already. Why well, I gotta go to school? Allo, oui, bonsoir. I'm Viva Mademoiselle in Sassy Desiem Chanel Nguyen and Jodia. We are going to be talking about jobs that Haitian kids just cannot have. Now, I've been wanting to do this for so long, but just got around to it. We got to have a break from all of the history videos and shit like that. Because one, those takes a lot of time. Two, it's, it's a lot of research and time that goes into those videos. So this should do, right? So please keep in mind, because I know there's going to be some salty people that come on this video and start talking nonsense. Anything in this video does not go for every Haitian. This does not apply to every Haitian child, every Haitian parent. This is simply a overall synopsis and this mainly goes for Haitian kids who came to the States really early or Haitian kids who have Haitian parents but were born in the States. So if you were born in Haiti or live in Haiti, this may not apply to you. So let's get started. We already know Haitians are all about the legally left or lakai, okay, which is church, school, home. Anything outside of that is not important and if they let you do it, it's going to be very, very minimal. If it seeps into any of the legally left or lakai rule, it will get cut, okay? They will only let you do extracurriculars if they see the benefit of A, them bragging about you doing it, or B, it helps you get into college, okay? Most Haitian parents expect you to go to college. There is no and, ifs, or buts about it. If you do not want to go to college, most Haitian parents expect you to go to college. Like, I don't see any way of any Haitian kid getting out of that without being considered A, a an abomination, B, a waste of time, or C, just like, you know, an overall disappointment. Because that's what they come here for. Haitian people come here for them to have a better life, but most importantly, so their kids could have a better life. They don't come here for you to be a regular person. This is why, and I know a lot of you watching this may be offended by this, but this is how a lot of Haitian people do think. This is why when they see Americans doing like lower level jobs or Americans just like not striving to their full potential, they see it as, oh, Americans are lazy, Americans don't work hard, Americans are this, that, and the third, because it's like, why is it that immigrants are doing better than people that were born here or other like, you know, countries like the UK or whatever the case may be? They're like, okay, you guys are lazy. My kid will not be that way. That's why they don't want their kids to really associate with other people because they're like, oh, well, these, these people are lazy. Oh, these white people are lazy. These black people are lazy. These, these Americans, anyone that's not Haitian, anyone that's not foreign, they're lazy because look at us. We doing good. They can't do better. Like, I kid you not. I've heard it. I've seen it and I've grown up with like my parents saying it to an extent, but not really. Cause I, but then again, I've never had any non-Haitian friends like that. I've only had like two best friends that were not Haitian. One's white and the other one is mixed. So it's like, never said anything about them, but I've heard them talk about other people in that way. So it's one of those things where they expect their kids to be the best of the best, the highest of the high, and they expect their kids to aim as high as possible. So we already know most Haitians expect you to be a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, or you're not making no money. They don't give a shit if you're making millions, starting your own crafting business, if you didn't go to school, if you're not a doctor, lawyer, engineer, you didn't do shit. Now, there are some exceptions to this. Like, instead of a doctor, you could be a nurse. If you're not a lawyer, paralegal, you know? As long as you're in those fields, usually you're safe. But there are some Haitian parents that are so uppity 
that they're not gonna take anything lower than a doctor or a lawyer. If you're a nurse, you better be a RN, okay? Ain't no LPN, ain't no CNA, ain't no none of that shit. Like, I know people that will literally clown you for being a CNA, like clown you. Like, they always say that that is an immigrant job, okay? That is a job that you do when you just came to America and you have no choice. That is a job that you do as a stepping stone. That is a job that you do when you ain't got no choice. Like, that's not a job that a young, able-bodied person should be doing you either go to school and be a real nurse or you're not a nurse at all kid you not seen it heard it it's mad crazy if you're gonna be a paralegal they're also probably gonna call you lazy because it's like nigga why don't you just be a fucking lawyer then but there's a lot of Haitians who would probably not prefer that their kids be lawyers because they see it as like a unjust type of profession they see it as like a demoralizing type of profession because realistically lawyers are professional liars to an extent depending on the situation a lot of them are professional liars if you're going to be an engineer I don't think there's anything lower than an engineer what's like under engineer before you become an engineer i'm not sure but if there is anything lower than that yeah they just want you to be engineer they want you to do anything that it is that's gonna make them look good okay that's one thing when it comes to haitian people more important than their china more important than their toyota is their reputation they care about their reputation more than anything they can be dead and it will haunt you in your sleep if you do some bullshit that they said that you should not do if you did some bullshit that they know, that you know, that they wouldn't accept it, okay? Because their reputation is very important to them. They do not want you out here making them look bad, making them, you know, making people talk bad about them. Like, it's, it's, it's very serious to them. Now, it's funny. I have a bachelor's and a master's, okay? I went to Bloomfield College for my bachelor's in communications and I got my public relations master's from Full Sail. I just finished my master's about a year ago and my parents have the nerve, the goal, the audacity to talk about something. Oh, when are you gonna get your doctorate? Excuse you? Are you gonna pay for it? Like, what? It's annoying, but I guess it's a good thing. Like, your Haitian parents always expect you to aim higher. It's like, if you are gonna do it, do it all the way. That's how a lot of them feel. But most likely, I feel like it's just a bragging right for them because my parents brag about me all the damn time. And it's like, I love the fact that they accept that I just wanna be myself and talk shit for a living. But to be honest, when I first told my parents I wanted to be a journalist because that was the goal, they looked at me like, and as you guys know, I already mentioned why that might be a concern for them in my previous Divalier video. Um, there's been a lot of Haitian presidents, aka dictators, that had journalists killed. So I feel like there was room for concern there, you know, me literally having a life of talking shit all the time. But I do feel like my parents felt some type of way at first, now that they see that I, you know, I've created something for myself. I'm an able-bodied adult, you know, I pay my bills, I live alone, stuff like that, they left me alone. But at first, when I first announced this to them, they were sitting there like, don't try to be a doctor, don't try to be a nurse, a lawyer, I'm like... Don't play with me. Don't, don't play with me. The last time I thought about being a doctor, I was like four and playing with the city one, trying to make it seem like it was a stethoscope. And as soon as I started working at a doctor's office, I saw how much work it was and how much I didn't want to do it, and I let that shit go, and it's going to stay there. Okay, I don't want to be a doctor, I don't want to be a nurse, I don't want to be anything in the medical field, I don't care for it. The only thing in the medical field that I personally kind of wanted to do was be a psychiatrist. I still have a heavy interest in psychology and psychiatry, and I actually took a lot of my like extra courses in social insight because I was that interested in it. So maybe that would be one thing, because that was my original plan. I wanted to be a psychiatrist, and I wanted to work for the FBI, part, be part of the BAU, which is the Behavioral Analysis Unit. But then my parents was like, do you want to work with those people? Because you already know mental health is like a very stigmatized thing in the Haitian religion. So my parents were sitting there like, you want to work for crazy people? And I'm like, first of all, it's inappropriate to call them crazy. Second of all, yes, I think I could make a difference in the world. And they were just like, literally, that's what they did. I was like, ah, you know what? Whatever. But that's not why I changed to journalism. I realized I would have way more fun and I have way more of a personality for this. Maybe in the future, I will go back to psychology. I'm very open to it. But as of right now, I'm just going to stick with what I get. So you guys are probably wondering, how about if I make millions, hundreds, thousands or whatever of dollars doing my own thing, like being a rapper, being a singer, being a dancer? Listen, if you're Haitian, you're not allowed to do anything in the creative field as a professional profession, okay? There is no singer, dancer, rapper, none of that shit. They're gonna, yo, it don't matter if you sending your parents a million dollars a month and you are like an international rapper. They will brag about you, but they will still, okay? They will still be like, oh, but are you gonna go back to school? When are you gonna go back to school? I see you making all this money, but when are you gonna go back to school? Haitians 
deprive education so much, it's insane. It's a good thing, but it's like, god damn, like I'm making millions already. Why well, I gotta go to school? Now, the thing is, I guess I'm like this too in a way where it's like, I do feel like education is important because at the end of the day, you could be a singer, rapper, dancer, drawer, you know, painter, whatever. I do believe that some shit happens. Like maybe someone's gonna fucking, maybe your arm's gonna break, you can't draw no more. Maybe something's gonna happen to your throat, you can't sing no more. Maybe something's gonna happen to your leg, you can't dance no more. So at the end of the day, it's very important to have an education to fall back on because shit does happen. That's the main reason I still want to go get my master's after my channel was booming. And now I got two channels. But still, this shit could just end in a snap. YouTube could demonetize my channel. YouTube could delete my channel. Someone could hack my shit and everything could be gone. At the end of the day, I want to be able to have a career to fall back on. I want to be able to have my brains, my education, and my knowledge to fall back on. Now, this does not mean going to college, which is something that I don't understand why Haitian people don't understand. Like, there's other forms of higher education. I just feel like as long as you have something higher than a high school diploma, that's all that really matters because America's education system is garbage. College and like higher education is what really gives you the gist of what you need depending on what school you go to because some people's colleges don't be teaching them shit. But you know what I'm talking about, like a higher education is what you need. A high school diploma is not gonna take you anywhere. Sometimes even a bachelor doesn't take you anywhere. I think it's very, very important to recognize these things before you go and tell your parents what you're gonna do. If you want to be in law enforcement, good luck with that. Now, this is the thing, right? Again, during the Duvalier regime and other dictator type of regimes, cops have always, shit, even to this day, cops have always been seen as corrupt. They bribe people. They do all of this shit in America now. They're killing people, which they, that's always been a thing, right? But now it's in the forefront. So it's like a lot of Haitians don't associate anything good with authority. So a lot of times if you go and tell your parents you're going to be a cop, they're looking at you like, you're going to be a what? You want to go die for people that don't care about you? You want to what, Kisa? Watch that Kisa? Like, that's what they're going to say to you. Like, they don't associate anything good with law enforcement. They either see it as, A, that's a death wish, or B, you're going to be corrupt, okay? They see it as, you're going to go out and, like, you know, bribe people, be a bad person. You know, it's kind of like the lawyer thing. It's like, these are professional liars. You want to be a professional liar. Like, again, this depends on your type of Haitian parent. Because some Haitian parents may be proud, some may not care. But I know a lot of Haitian parents that would not be okay with their kid being a cop mainly because of the danger that it puts that child in right under a cop i would put a security guard now if you're gonna be a security guard again they see that as a low level job if you want to be a cop and you know being a security guard is kind of like your stepping stone to being a cop usually they might leave you alone but a security guard ain't shit to them they see it as a i had a baby out of wedlock so i'm gonna be a security guard they see it as a i didn't go to school because i didn't listen to my parents so i'm gonna be so i'm gonna be a security guard I couldn't make it through the training of being a cop, so I'm going to be a security guard. That's how a lot of them see it. Some people may not say nothing to you about it, but when they talking behind your back, that's what they're saying. Now, don't even get me started on being a stripper, a sex worker, or anything of the sort, okay? An IG model. If you want to bring your parents or your family any type of shame, be one of those things. Your parents are not going to accept, okay? They're not going to accept you out here shaking that ass for money having sex for money, taking pictures in racy, you know, outfits and taking videos in racy outfits just to get an audience, to get money. I'm telling you, that is probably one of the most disrespectful and one of the worst things you can do. They see it as you practically being a whore. Even if you're just an IG model, taking pictures in bikinis, they're like, oh no, you're a whore, you're selling sex, you're a prostitute. Saying, like anything like heavily sexually related in terms of outfits, in terms of like just the way you present yourself, especially if it's online, if anything, that will make them probably disown you. Like everything else that I said in this video will probably make them talk, will probably annoy them, but this right here will probably make them disown you, okay? So if you will be an insta-thought, a prostitute, a stripper, keep it a secret. Keep it a secret, even if you done made it, okay? You on some black China level, keep it a secret because they don't want to hear it. This is going to make them look bad. Everyone knows. And I think that's what's more annoying to them because it's like everyone knows. And you know, people are nosy. Haitians love to talk shit. They, they're going to say something, okay? Oh, Like, 
I'm telling you this right now. They're going to come at you because people are coming at them. It's not even the fact that you're doing it, even though they're going to be mad that you're doing it, but they're going to be more mad that everyone knows that you're doing it without them getting to talk shit about you first. That's really what it is, okay? Haitians hate being the last to know shit, okay? Haitians hate being the ones that are like being told about something, especially when it has to do with their kid. They hate when people come to them and tell them something that their kid is doing without their kid bringing it to them first. So if you sitting there thotting and bopping, shaking that ass, you know, swinging dick on the gram, no shirt on, speedo, all of this extra shit, and you know, everyone from your church sees it, everyone from the school sees it and all of that, and people are sitting there calling your parent up like, hey, I see a kid doing this, that, and the third, trust me, they're gonna be mad as shit and they're probably gonna disown you. Because at that point, you embarrass them. You're embarrassing. So yeah, bottom line, anything in the creative field, anything in the medical field that's not considered high end, anything in the lawyer field that's not considered high end, anything in the, the, the sex working field that's considered anything in the sex working field, honestly, is going to most likely make your parents look at you a certain way, okay? It's going to make them give you the side eye. I think that's it. If I could think of anything else, or if you guys have any other professions you know a Haitian person would not tolerate you doing, comment down below because I think I may have to make part two. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you guys want the shirt, it is in my main merch shop for my other channel. It will be linked down below. This is the crop top version, which we don't have anymore. So I do have it in a t-shirt. I have it in a hoodie. I have it in a sweatshirt. So yeah, you can order it that way. But yeah, make sure you guys comment down below below like share subscribe and do all that and i'm gonna see y'all 